We're here at Day 3 Cavendish Beach Music Festival. I'm here with the Avonlea. They just did a great performance on the Cavendish Kitchen Festival stage. And um, I'd like to have yourselves introduced to our fans. Hello, I'm Matt. I'm Jolene. I'm Rosie. Charlene. Dave. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, I really enjoyed your show. It was really great. It sounds fantastic. I know that uh, Jolene and Charlene, you were a duo for many years and played some pretty big stages. And now you have Rosie joining you on fiddle and singing as well. Some beautiful harmonies. Um, how important is it for you to uh, put yourselves out as a new trio and, and show that, although you're twins, you're in here too, to show yourselves as a strong country trio? Love that question. Who's taking it? You, you are. It. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes with just uh, from a technical standpoint with the vocals with Jolene and I, uh, where our voices blend so great that is people love to hear that and people love sibling harmony. But we found that when we started singing with other people, like it just added something refreshing. And when Rosie came along, her voice just fit, fit so well with ours. And there so, were three at birth, actually. <laughs> so they just dropped her off in Cape Breton instead of Newfoundland by accident. They never made it all the way with her. But it is really important to me because um, I'm having a lot more fun. So that's really important. And uh, yourself, Rosie, you've had some big stages uh, with the Cotters over the years and done some great shows. How important is it for you to be here at home, basically, I still consider PEI home, um, to be here at home and playing on the stage for these, these incredible fans? I'm really excited about this project. Uh, we're writing together just to have such an amazing writing team, you know, the three of us. It's, it's pretty much line for line, you know, and, and to be playing with, with we're, we're all great friends and um, and we're it's that creativity is really exciting so uh, it's a brand new project and we're ready to rock it <laughs> yeah. that's great I have a quick question for Dave yeah. Dave tell me how much fun are you having too much <laughs> <laughs> Dave knows how to have a great time <laughs> and for you Matt you're surrounded by beautiful women you must be on heaven in heaven right now pretty much yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty awesome Every drummer's dream to be surrounded by three beautiful women. <laughs> All right. I would like to know now, who are your musical influences, Jolene? Great question. Um you know, we all have different influences, and some of them are the same. Um, mine would be Emily Harris, uh, Jillian Welch is, you know, she's my gal. She's my girl. Yeah, I stole her from you. Um, and Patty Griffin, she's just my favorite writer of all time. So. For you, Rosie? Um, well, fiddle-wise, uh, let's see, Liz Carroll, uh, like mo mostly, you know, or Buddy McMaster, there's so many. Um, and Dave, Dave's yeah, one of my, Dave's he's one of my heroes. Uh, and and vocal-wise, um, I love Sarah Harmer, and I love Iris Dement, you know, the classics. They're awesome. You sure? Well, you know, I like to just round them out and bring them into the 21st century. <laughs> and so I love, like, Carrie Underwood, all the top 20. I'm really into the commercialism sometimes of country music. And I just love... Like a lot of the real, like the Nashville scene and what they're still doing there. I'm a big, still a big believer. Yeah, that's why we blend each other. Yeah. Um, your harmonies are so beautiful, and they do blend along the Celtic vein of what we're used to hearing here on the East Coast. But it's country, and it's beautiful. How important is it to you to establish yourselves with your harmonies being country music? I think that goes back to what I just said about my influence and like I, we never really tried to make our harmony that style, it really just happened and we were just like, oh that was fun and it just sounded familiar and it was so, you know, refreshing to us and it was really nostalgic and actually when we realized that that sound started to happen, we were like almost in tears because we started to remember how much we really appreciate like the Rankins and Rita McNeil and like I think I could just cry still thinking about it right now because like I just feel like that's so important and I spent my whole life trying to get away from the small town thing and now I'm just like so proud of being from the East Coast and I don't care who ha has to say anything about it. And isn't that what country music is about? It's about those people who really understand what it is to be home and never forget that route. So thank you very much. That's a great answer. Um, I'm going to have some fun now. Okay. Oh, yeah, Serious questions over. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to start with Matt. If I say Mustang, do you think car or horse? Car. All right. Brush. Hair or drums? Hair. <laughs> Arena. Hockey or rodeo? Oh, no, definitely hockey. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah I'm from a small town in Cape Breton, and uh, we all play hockey. All right. If I say, oh, so okay, 
If I say pick, do you think guitar or ice? Guitar. Think voice. <laughs> There's something else besides the voice? No, <laughs> guitar. <laughs> okay, Dave, for you. If I say Mega Nova, do you think website or star? Star. All right. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. This is the Avonlea. We're here at the Cavendish Beach Music Festival. We're having a blast. Go to Facebook, find the Avonlea, like them, go to Twitter, follow them. And thank you so much for joining us here at Cavendish Beach Music Festival.